hello guys welcome back to my channel I hope you're all doing well so today we're going to be talking about you know the pros and cons of the age gap marriage and I know Don and I um, we've been thinking about this for quite a long time um, about sitting with you guys and you know talk a bit being a bit open not too much because we won't share deep stuff about our marriage but you know we can share a bit of inside our experiences yeah I don't know about anyone else but um, and our experience with the age gap marriage the pros are or the cons I I, say. yeah I like to start with the cons yes. and it's with the positive oh yeah okay. yeah some of the cons are that uh, people I think because there's an age gap, there's going to be a lot of uh, uh, arguments or disagreements mm -hmm. as far as maturity is concerned. You know, one person may look and say, okay, I'm older, so I should be making most of the decision because I've had this experience and that experience. So any relationship, it can work. It's, it, it's workable. For ours, it has been working 14 years. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> I know I started off pretty young actually 21 when I met Dan I yeah. think it was like some months later mm -hmm. what was it like seven months later yeah, we seven. got married and I was 22 so yeah by the time we got married I was 22 Dan was about 51 but it can work and we're yeah. still here today I think it's so much maturity because uh, you know we we always said or Tiffany always used to tell me in the beginning that age is nothing but a number uh, so it, it doesn't on what age. Yeah, well, yeah. that too. But what I'm basically trying to say is that uh, um, just because you're a certain age, uh, upward-wise, you know, doesn't make you mature in certain areas with everything. You know, there's there's uh, people my age, uh, men, uh, that may have the maturity of a 25-year-old. You know, and some of them may act their age, and some of them don't. I think uh, it can work like any other marriage. I'm not. What does it really matter? Mm -hmm. It can work like any marriage. Be open enough or be patient enough or be uh, understanding enough. Able to discuss things in a civil manner. Don't think that because you're older that you know so much. Pros and cons of uh, being with a younger person. <laughs> wow. Um, it, I, I think the con part of it would be um, that there's such a gap that you're not going to have a person that's going to be able to to uh, 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 converse with you on the level that you, that you think that you're on. I think the only thing that uh, uh, that I miss it with Tiffany is that I may something may happen, and I'll think of a song that was before her age, <laughs> and I'll start singing it or I'll talk about it. It relates to whatever statement has, has been made, and she may not. She may look at me kind of different like what are you talking about <laughs> you know so I had to google and pull it up and then I was just say, see this is what I was talking about you know and then half the time she doesn't believe that was <laughs> that was such a song was ever made the pro part of it I think that uh, uh, again one has to have an understanding and a patient uh, I think it was patient just for me to bring it up on Google and, and share it with her so she can be on the same page as I am. Not the same level, but the same page as far as understanding where I was coming from. I think I think it's paramount. If uh, the age gap is uh, more than is 10 years or more, because uh, that's enough time, uh, a decade is enough time to probably present some challenges. Man really has to exercise patience. Uh, I think patience is number one. Um, and then, yeah, and in any marriages. Yeah, well. I'm just saying in the, in the age gap, I think patience is, is even is even more uh, important. You know, I mean, even the Bible talks about. I told in a, in a particular scripture, uh, husband love your wife, and he repeated it three times. You know, and I think that was significant because sometimes men are analytical and women are more emotional, and so therefore it's, it takes patience to. Uh, and understanding to to approach a person, to approach a woman in the, in the correct manner where she'll receive what you have to say as opposed to you just trying to force it down her throat type of thing. Yeah. You know, that's that's not right. That's going to cause a lot of trouble. And so you just take your time. Who's an icon of dating an older man? 
I would say, I start with the cuts first. What can I say? Don't well, be nice. Be, be, be brutal. Go ahead. Be no, I, no. <laughs> One of the things is the dress code. Stand up because I'm dating someone older, so I understand it's going to be a different dress code. I actually didn't have a problem with you. Mm -hmm. I didn't. I like, you know, for me, I like older man that dresses appropriate, age appropriate, mm -hmm. well dressed, proper man. Um, even if you're, he's not over the top, but well put together. I try to keep up with stuff as far as fashion, but I don't go no. off the deep end. I don't. Because he don't, Don doesn't care much yeah, I'm, about I'm, I'm conservative. Yeah. I'm conservative. But I like looking nice. Wear the best cologne, you know. Yes, he does. <laughs> I think he put more um, effort into cologne. Yeah. Music. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. It's, it's quite different. But I would say, you know, we mostly listen to gospel. So it's not that bad. But when Don listen um, to any olden days music, I, I don't, I'm not feeling it. Yeah, I, and I get that. And he tried to play some love song, and I'm like, I'm not yeah, liking it. Yeah, but you know. I'll play it, Celine Dion for him. Yeah, and I wasn't into that, <laughs> you know. I was actually into dance hall music when I met her. And uh, I was yeah. always been a jazz person. And also a, a, a reggae. You know, so yeah, you do like reggae a lot. Mm. So we do have things in common, mm -hmm. actually. And you taught me a lot. I was so young at the time. And I mean, being, I mean, 21, 22 years, so young. Yeah. And Donna taught me a lot. I think one of the things I'm so grateful to God for bringing it into my life is actually, um, you tell me, you know, about having more confidence in myself. Yeah. And that's one of the things because when Dan and I met, it's done question like, do you think I'm ugly? Yeah, and I thought that was just, uh, <laughs> you know, I, 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 in my mind I said, are you insane? <laughs> you know, but what, my, what came out of my mouth was, oh, baby, it's, it's, girl, I wouldn't even be with you if you wasn't fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> But, you know, it was things that I was dealing with from my past, you know, mm -hmm. what I've been told. Yeah. So that kind of pierced me back then. But, you know, I've grown up. I've grown out of that. Yeah. But at the time, Don helped me a lot in being more confident, feeling more beautiful, and actually loving myself. Mm -hmm. And... It, it, it was so amazing. And I'm, I'm actually... Oh gosh, I don't want to get emotional. I'm, oh my gosh. You taught me. I, I was kind of a... I wouldn't say a hard man, but I... Um, you know, I had been through some stuff, and uh, so I was kind of protecting my emotions, if you will. <laughs> so it was, uh, she taught me how to love. first met Tiffany, I, I was kind of... I was kind of cool trying to be debonair, <laughs> stuff like that. But what, what actually was, I was uh, trying to protect my emotions because I had been through some experience. I had been through uh, one marriage. And um, I, I thought I, if I protect myself more, it'd be fine. Uh, so uh, after we got married, uh, I started watching how she does stuff. And she, I actually learned how to love better uh, from her. I thought I knew how to love, but she really taught me how to love people. Because I remember, I, I think I questioned you one time and said, are you, are you obsess obsessing over me? And she said, are you crazy? Right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Putting God first actually that is can paramount. let any marriage work. We can sit here and say, oh, it's this, it's that. But I'm telling you, without God, we wouldn't be sitting here. That's true. In such a blessed marriage we wouldn't actually yeah because god will bring in wisdom when you when you think that you're right and god will like um excuse me you're not right <laughs> yeah <laughs> so. and you know it was god who used them to bring me into that maturity mm -hmm. you know yeah i can't take the credit for it no you, you really can't no mm -hmm. it's all glory to god mm -hmm. at the end of the day right because it was his guidance or his uh yeah it was his guidance of me on how to receive love and then act in love towards her and then you know how to nullify any kind of negativity uh, that might arise up on the outside of our circle. I think uh, another thing is uh, to value one's opinions, uh, each other's opinions I should say, 
uh, because uh, if you don't value the other person's opinion, no matter what the age is, uh, they're not going to listen to you when you have something legitimate to say, mm -hmm. you know. But if they see that you really listen to them, really understand them, and really take into heart what they're saying, then they're they're going to be open for a return. I think that the uh, the thing about that is that when you value each other's opinions, you open the door for. Uh, conversation or communication. Mm -hmm. It's back and forth. And that's of, important. Yeah. Communication is very, yeah. very, very So important. instead of it going one way, it's a two-way thing. And that's that's the important part of it. Because yeah. any marriage, uh, communication is, is another important element of the whole circle of things that needs to be done. Do a disagreement. Like any marriage. Right. Oh my goodness. I, oh my goodness. I don't know what the big deal is over age gap marriage. Mm -hmm and why it wouldn't work but it can work mm -hmm. um i mean like any marriages you do a um, disagreement i think there's something positive about argument or or, or let's say it's a, a debating against each other it will test how much you feel that you know about a thing yeah <laughs> you know so if if uh if you're if what you thought was right really is wasn't right but you thought you was right. Mm -hmm. And then the argument would bring it out if you open and understand it and you're listening to each other. We'll say, well, you know what? Uh, maybe I wasn't right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what you said is valid. You know, that's that's the whole thing about valuing each other's uh, opinions. You know, so I think arguments, it can be healthy. Uh, you know, as long as you're not cussing and spitting at each other. I think a good practice is if you heed it in, in the conversation, then you, one of you should say, you know what, let's take a moment, relax, you know, 15 minutes, half hour, hour, and then let's come back to this. Because, you know, when you come back to it in a calmer manner, yeah, you know, you're, you're, you're going to get a lot more done. As far as uh, being an older person, uh, uh, married to a younger person, is that you have to be gentle. Um, you shouldn't be harsh in any kind of way, any uh, uh, abrasive you know, demanding, that's, that's, that's not, that won't get you anywhere, except for maybe on the, on the sofa <laughs> or, or, or spending the night at your mom's house. Now that's never Oops. happened to us. <laughs> that's never happened to us, but I'm just saying in, 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 in theory that uh, you have to be gentle. Uh, even the Bible says that we're supposed to be gentle towards our wives. Yeah. You know, so I, I just take what the Word of God says and just apply it to my own personal life. Another thing I think is important for the man is that never, never the old man's attitude. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> the devil will try to plant a thought in your head. Okay, you know you're, you know you're this age, you know you're that age, and certain things you can't do anymore. You know, and maybe he'll try to prove it physically. Then the thought pattern just goes, okay, I'm older, let me walk slower. Let me do this. I can't run no more. I can't play with this one anymore. And you start thinking stuff like, okay, now we have a new baby. She's five months old. And She's actually four months old. Okay. See, the memory, too. No. 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 <laughs> no, but seriously, I have a, a baby who's four months old. And so thought may come, okay, am I going to live until she's at least out of high school? Or... You're not gonna live to see her walk down the aisle, and if you do, you're gonna be on the in a. Why are you talking <laughs> like that? I want to say this is how the devil will work. Oh you my know. God! Well, what's up with that vice? I don't know. This is the goofiest. <laughs> but seriously, okay. All jokes aside, uh, I think thing that is, what, that's one of the the main thing. Like yeah. We talk about age. Yeah. So you know, I, I never entertain thoughts like that I cast them down like I'm supposed to yeah uh, and that keeps me youthful besides her uh, that keeps me young thinking you know I don't mean like thinking like a 17 year old what I mean by that is I don't uh, adapt or or uh, or give in to the thoughts about that I'm aging per se you know I got you older. know it that's the fact yeah, but you're not going to stuck on it Right. That is true. Right, because that'll just make you start acting like you old. That that that's actually mm -hmm. true. Cause that's one of the things that people um think about in an age gap, um, about the person dying or people that are want to go into an age gap marriage. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but the thing is, you don't know who's going to die first. Yeah. At the end of the day, are we right. not supposed to sit down and be thinking about who is going to die? That doesn't even make any sense. For Dan and I, we try to live life to the fullest yeah. um, in agreement, actually, with the Word of God. Mm -hmm. And because that's the only life you can live to the fullest. Right. <laughs> so we try to stay focused on the things of God and actually just loving on each other. We're not sitting here thinking about when who is going to die because mm -hmm. you never can tell. Right. So we don't. We actually don't think about that. We're just no. believing God for the best and for long life. Mm -hmm. And you know. That's all we have to do. Wisdom, as a, as a man, you should make sure your family is taken care of. So, you know, whatever that takes. At the end of the day, guys, um, age gap marriage can work like any other marriage. See how many marriages are being destroyed with the yeah. same age. So at the end of the day, when you have God in the midst of your marriage, it can work in yeah. any marriages at all. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, even though Dan and I have a huge age gap marriage, as I will say again, that Don helped me a lot to have more confidence in myself and actually to love myself. And I'm pretty grateful to God for that, that he brought him in my life where, you know, he could help with that part. So God will send, you know, people in your life that will help you, even your spouse. So, mm -hmm. yeah, that's one of the things, and I'm grateful to God for that. I love mm -hmm. you. Love you too, babe. Okay, <laughs> but anyway guys, we love and appreciate you. I hope you enjoy this video. Anyway, we love and appreciate you. And please don't forget to go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And please don't forget to... Walk in love. Stay in love and stay connected to God. And you do have a lovely day. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.